Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of my Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. Thank you guys for joining me in today on a wonderful Pokemon adventure. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, I swear to God, I said that at the beginning of every video I ever fucking make, but anyway, I went ahead and leveled up everybody. I just used PKX instead, and yes, Flygon cannot learn Aerial Ace in Generation 3, but it can learn it in Generation 4, blah, 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 moving on. And then we are, uh, I just basically put everyone to 55, because I also gave Entei Dig. I was tempted to give him fucking Earthquake because it can learn Bulldoze in later gens, or Rock Slide or Rock Tomb since it can learn Stone Edge in later gens, but the difference between having access to a move that you do have and then replacing it with a move that is similar but the Pokemon actually doesn't learn later on is kind of a mixed bag for me. So, for the record, for now, I decided not to do that. Anyway, let's continue on clearing out this real game tower and hopefully finishing the entire game uh, by next episode's end. Because I don't think that the rest of the place here is going to be a full uh, episode on its own. I think it's going to be a little longer than that. But now we face the last of the fucking Cretans, Ian. The guy we literally beat two episodes ago. This time, however, he implements the lightning rod strategy with his rain dancers. Don't even try using electric moves on him unless you kill the others. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, right. Protect. Fuck. Well, Earthquake is going to hurt Frogator, but it should do some sizable damage. Oh, it killed Starmie. Sweet. I didn't expect that to kill it, actually. Alright. Well, since everyone is in their positions, I'm just going to go ahead and heal my Frogator to get another Earthquake off. Because that will 100% sure kill right on at this point. He might bring out a fucking Crobat and... Gyarados after this. Yep, there's his Crobat. Oh, and also his Manectric is his uh, rather shitty replacement for uh, the other, for the fucking Raikou that I took, that I took from him. Alright, Dragon Claw, Ice Beam, because I don't know what else to do here. Nice! Doing the leveling was a fucking essential here, dude. And we got Pelipper. Toxic. Huh. Would have thought it would use something else besides that. And we have a dead crowbat on our hands. See? Much better when you're higher level. And we'll just double team on a Pelipper, but Dragon Claw will probably kill it on its own. Yup. And out you go, motherfucker. Alright. And that gives us the yellow ID badge, respective for Raikou. Again, don't understand why Mirror B gets the red one and Dacum gets the green one. That that will never, ever not bother me as long as I play this game. And then we get an email. This is the email we get from Egun telling us that he wants to give us, essentially, the Master Ball. Which, which I did showcase in one of my videos on my main channel about the Pokeball glitch to use for the Master Ball. Because if you get the Master Ball now, but you can go all the way back to Agate and grab it before you catch any other shadows. You can then, for, for from there on, catch every single shadow Pokemon with a Master Ball. As long as you do the cloning glitch. I love the little sound effect that happens when you fucking put the ID badge in. It's very subtle, but listen. I just love that noise. Then we're immediately ambushed by this motherfucker with a Heracross. And now I'm actually debating using that Heracross as the final team member, actually. Because, I mean, while I do love Entei and Raikou, I kind of need a physical attacker. Alright, Flamethrower, Ice Beam. Pretty simple. Flames. Die. Plus, also, Heracross is a fucking megaton powerhouse with this fucking 125 base attack and massive fucking... Brick Break, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Mega Horn coverage. After all, there aren't that many good bug moves, and there aren't that many good bug Pokemon at this point. So, maybe I should use it. I'll figure that out between videos. So come to me, you giant... Rhinoceros Beetle, I think it's called. Alright, in we go. Oh, we get another email out of nowhere. I don't remember what that's for. 
But he is our first person to fight in the center of the building. Now let me show you what that aerial ace can do, boy. Oh. Never mind. I forgot the fucking bastard does this strategy. Well, too bad you can't fake me out twice, asshole. So goodbye. I'm actually thinking about replacing more than one Pokemon on my team at this point. But this is why Aerial Ace is important. Oh, Focus Punch. Oh, Fake Out! Huh. Fucking funny. Screw you. Go fucking Graveler guy on my face. I remember when I first played this part of the game, my frickin' Espeon and Umbreon were only barely level 54. And I was getting my ass kicked because I didn't have any real power with my attacks. They kept flinching my fucking uh, Espeon over and over again. One, two. Oh, I got hit in the face a few times. Oh, I'm so sad. Just fucking die, everything. Everything needs to fucking die already. Goodbye. All right, now that they're gone. I do believe it's about time. I actually didn't press A button walking towards her. But she doesn't have a shadow, so. Just swack them away, baby. I right, got artillery there, so. We'll actually do this. We'll do Dragon Claw and then Earthquake with Thor Alligator. Oh, poor Octi died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cedra, hi. You're probably not going to die from Earthquake, but let's see. Goldfish, obviously gone. But Cedra? Oh, good. Gone. It's 95 base defense. Didn't save it this time. Oh, she has her own for Alligator. Well, too bad for Alligator can't take on for Alligator. So I'll just use one for Alligator. I'll do my fucking Flygon. Drag that for Alligator into killing range. I am the best. No question, I am the best. Hi, Silva. Now stop disguising yourself as one of the guard people so I can go upstairs. But we are very close to the final boss. So close, in fact, I'm probably going to make it a separate video. Ah, oh, you finally reached me. I must say that I'm impressed. Kevin and Aria, welcome to the Real Game Tower. My name is Naskur. Do you remember the time we met in Phoenix City? Oh yeah, I could never forget that. I did have the feeling that I would one day face you in battle. But I never imagined you'd be the one to seek me out here. Very soon we will be ready to greet your arrival in style. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Don't keep me waiting too long. So he goes up to the top. Quick, we have to chase him. So we go over there. Nope, he already left. We'll check the other one. That one's busy too. But then... This fucker comes out. Here we have the leader of Team Snagum. I'm Gonzet, the boss of Team Snagum. Don't you forget it. Did you ask what I'm doing here? Yeah, isn't Cypher's his? Isn't the Cypher headquarters? Team Snagum shouldn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise, we do. We were just thieves before we got a hold of the Snag Machine. Where did we get and where did we get from them? From Cypher. What they wanted was this. Go snag superior grade Pokemon from trainers everywhere. This is all one big plot hash by Cypher. That's what I'm saying. Aren't you the brainy one, Missy? Master Nescor is waiting for you upstairs, but you've got to deal with me first. We've got a little score to settle here. It's time you paid out, paid up for wrecking our hideout and wiping out Team Snagum. Don't get any ideas about beating me. Yeah, this guy is actually pretty damn tough if you're not prepared. His Pokemon are pretty strong. So, definitely, definitely, 100% over level before you get here. It will definitely save you some time. Give me one sec. Let's check this out real fast. Oh, wait a minute. What did I say? Oh, never mind. Sorry, looking at my emails. Anyway. So let's, uh... We're gonna have to... I'm gonna actually have to get rid of that fucking shift tree first. I'm more worried about it than I am of Crawl. 
The Crawdon doesn't have Ice Beam, so I'm not too concerned about it. Gonzap sends out that motherfucker. I brick break your fucking Crawdon. crawdon has got really good attack and special attack and some average defense, but it's really not that good of a Pokemon. Pinsir! Alright, Aerial Ace? No. Yes, Aerial Ace, Waterfall. That'll probably kill Hariyama, or only kill it by 60%, and that's not gonna kill Pinsir at all. Oh! Wonderful! Wonderful, cool. Thank you for killing your own your own Hariyama, at least. Save me the fucking trouble. But now for his shadow Pokemon, Skarmory. One of the best Pokemon in Generation 2, bar none. And I will fucking die on the hill. I would probably easily replace Skarmory and Heracross over Raikou and Entei, simply for the fact that they're such a good combo together. But you know what? I'm actually going to do some purification post-video, of course, as I always do. And I'll give that a shot and see if it works. Damn right I've grown a lot better, fucking. Why don't you and me team up again, just like old times? Nope. Tuh, <laughs> figured you'd say that, but it doesn't matter anymore. There's no going back for you now. Get going. I'm gonna go this way, in fact, actually. So, like I said, I'm actually gonna be, uh, doing some more Pika Hexing post-video. We're already at the 12 minute mark anyway, so it doesn't really hurt to cut the video here. I want to save the entirety of the finale for one episode anyway. Because we have six, six, count them, six battles in a row without the ability to save or leave. Or heal. So there's that too. So it's definitely a fucking hard collection of trainers. We have a total of six more Shadow Pokemon to catch before the post game. So again, let me get the hell out of here. I'm just going to go to Agate Village. And then go and purify the people, the Pokemons up there with my abilities afterwards. So anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys like to see and you want to see more, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button to see any of my future content coming up soon. And until next time, I am ZDS, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night, everybody.